Welcome back here to Fight Your Consumer Battles uh, with Alice Beer. Uh, actually, let's start with something that everyone's discussing this morning. Uh, it started in, in Daybreak and through Lorraine, now to us. Traces of DNA have been found, 10 beef burgers, uh, products sold in supermarkets, and it's horse DNA. It is, which let's just first of all stress, this is not a safety issue. This no. is completely and utterly a cultural issue for us, isn't mm -hmm. it? I find it uncomfortable. Do I find it unacceptable to be eating horses? I would just rather not. Mm. And I would rather know what well, is I'd in like my to know. Birth. I'd like to know if I was. Absolutely. So, so and if you buy told. something that's labelled beef, you want beef in it, don't you? Well, it so. should, should actually say horse burger. Yes. If that's what it is. It, it should. It well, is, if it's yeah. got 29%, and some of these burgers were found to have 29% of horse that's meat. That's an awful lot, it isn't is. it? Let's, let's look at the total meat content, anyway, of these burgers. 56 to 62% beef. So, really, when you're buying a value product, you are getting a lot of other stuff in there, anyway. But it is vitally important. I've always banged on about this. It is vitally important to know what you are eating mm. in your burger. And if nothing else, this has to make people look at the labelling a little more. Now, these have all been withdrawn from sale, these burgers. Because if on... you'd looked at the label, it wouldn't have said on the oh, label. No, 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 you wouldn't have been able to tell in this instance. But you would have been able to tell that you were eating 56 to 62% beef. And you might think, hmm, 56, just over half. So what's in the other half? Yeah, but if you please? pay a pound for four Absolutely. burgers, then you get what you pay for. Unfortunately, yes, you do. You, you're not going to get prime 100% beef in, no, a, in a burger that's very, not. very... But you might cho choose to have meat less often and go for a better product, 100% beef product, mm. the rest of the time. You know, you've got to be able to make choices. Choices. That's what, I think that's exactly about. what it is. What yes. about the presence of pork? Because as we were talking about the news review, that seems to have much further... Of course, it has deep religious issues, and it's un you know horse in in beef meat is unforgivable. Pig absolutely unforgivable for cultural and of course for religious reasons. It just shouldn't be there. But you know they're investigating now. How did it get there? Well, in this the is because I was place. just reading the FSAI chief executive Professor Alan Riley said there yes. was a plausible explanation for the presence of pig DNA in these. An products. unfortunate wording because it always almost makes it sound acceptable. Right. He says it's plausible. It's well, not, yes. Due to the fact that meat from different animals is processed in the same meat plant. Well, that's going to have different religious groups up in arms, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it just? Because really that's not acceptable, is it? Well, DNA DNA makes it sound... You know, so the trouble with DNA, it makes it sound like it's a tiny, oh, it tiny be, amount. It could be... How much is there with, it could be with a trace. DNA? But it could of course, be a trace. trace DNA. Yes. But of course it could also be... Twenty-nine uh, percent, considerably, considerably more. Yes. Uh, these are the products that are affected, anyway. Uh, just so that you know what uh, what you're looking for. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and they're, they're, it came from two food, three food press, processing plants. Two of them are in Ireland, and one of them's in the UK. So uh, the stores that are involved are Tesco, Aldi, Little, Iceland, and Dunn stores in Ireland. They've all been withdrawn from sale. But have a look in your fridge. Have a look in your freezer. If you've got them, of course you take them straight back. The well, if you're bothered by it. If you're bothered by it, absolutely. If you're not bothered by it, no. then they're, 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 they're not going to do you any harm. There is an element of what the brain doesn't know the stomach is really not going to complain about. And, uh, and as we've said before, in, uh, in, in, in Europe and other parts of the world, uh, nobody yep. would think twice about yes, it. Yes, your but... brain wants to know, but look at, you know, when you're buying a pack of sausages, do you always examine to see how much beef you've got in there? Let's, um, let's I, move I on. I do, actually. Good girl. I do. Love it. Let's do well, some families, <laughs> some well families uh, you know, that you, you, you have to go for the budget this option. This is a budget option. And you want Absolutely. to know that the budget option is actually what it says it is. And it should be. Unforgivable, and I think these stores will put it right. Uh, so. HMV vouchers. Now, we know oh, that HMV have gone into uh, administration. Yes. Um, and there is now news that, uh, that the vouchers... Uh, actually aren't being accepted, vouchers and gift cards uh, no. could be worthless.